Luigi's Mansion, a game released way back in 2001 as a launch title for the GameCube. It focuses on Luigi mysteriously winning his own mansion in a contest. And of course it's haunted and there's ghosts and stuff. But more importantly, Luigi is actually finally the protagonist and we have to save Mario for the first time. Uh, unless you count Mario as missing. Do we count that? Spaghetti! Now, Luigi's Mansion overall is not a particularly glitchy game. There's a couple of minor things here and there, like this. Oh man, look how exciting. Woo! However, there is a series of tricks that allows you to beat the game very quickly, so that will be the focus of this episode of Glitchfest. And the game on its own is really not that long, you could beat it in a few hours, but you guys know Mario, that guy is so impatient. I mean, I put my controller down and 10 seconds later the guy falls asleep on me. So instead of taking a few hours, what do you say we beat Luigi's Mansion in just about 15 minutes? And one final note before we get started, this glitch is really hard, so unless you just really want to perform this glitch, I would recommend just watching and not actually trying to perform this one yourself. With all of that out of the way, let's get started! So the first step to this elaborate trick is... just play the game. No, I'm completely serious, just play the game. The first order of business is clear through the game until I get right before Chauncey, the first area boss. This is all standard gameplay, so I'm not going to show it in this video, but if for some reason you just really want to see this part, then there will be a link in the video description to parts 1 and 2 of my Let's Play of this game, which covers all the stuff I'm cutting out. Now once I'm right before Chauncey, I'm actually going to go back to the foyer and save my game by talking to Toad. The reason for this is the first part of the trick happens right after we defeat Chauncey, and we only have one shot at it, so if I mess it up, I can reload the save rather than having to play all the way through the game back up to this point. Next, I go to the Chauncey battle, defeat him, and as soon as I beat him, I hold up right on the joystick. After completion of the boss, it teleports you into this room. I have to let go of the joystick before I walk too far, but not too soon. And if I do it just right, I will end up right behind the chest. Now here I decided to scooch to the right and grab this heart because I did take a bit of damage during the boss, and we do have to take some damage later on for the glitch, so I'd rather not die. Next, I have to be very careful because if I mess this up, I'll fall through the floor and be stuck in this room with no way to get out. Aside from resetting my game, of course. So what I do is I tap the vacuum button, and as Luigi puts the vacuum away, I push up on the joystick. If I push up too early while he's still vacuuming, that is what causes me to fall through the floor. But if I do this right, I'll get stuck halfway on one floor and halfway on another. It's kind of like a Luigi sandwich or something. Once you're made into a Luigi sandwich, you can explore quite a bit. You can walk to all kinds of rooms and see things you're not meant to see at this point in the game. But we're more interested in actually beating the game, so let's go get to that. The next step is right here after I became a sandwich, I go into sidestep mode. Then I hold right to go all the way this way until I hit an invisible wall. At this point, I just hit A on the controller, which makes Luigi freak out just a little bit. It kind of looks like he's going to be stuck in an infinite walk like this, but he won't be. After some time, he'll eventually open a door and go to the next room. While he's going through the door, I hold left on the C-stick, because right when I get through, there's a ghost that can scare you. And if a ghost scares you while you're doing this glitch, it'll bring you back down to the floor and I'll have to start over. Holding left on the C-stick as I go through the door will make Luigi turn around the instant I get into the room, and his flashlight should stop the ghost from appearing. Now this next step is where things get really difficult. I get to here and then point my flashlight down. Then I inch towards these bats which will make them come towards me to hit me. Just before I get hit by the bat, I hit down right on the C-stick, and just as Luigi makes the sound from getting hit by oh, the bat, I let go of the C-stick. If all of this is done exactly right, Luigi will be standing at a very bizarre angle. Once I'm at this angle, I go to the top right corner, making sure to avoid this other bat, then I hold right on the analog stick and right on the C-stick. And if the angle I got from getting hit by the bat is sharp enough, I'll go right over this ledge into this next hallway. If your angle is not good enough, Luigi will not go over the edge here, and if that's the case, you can go back here and go through this door, then come back out and the bats should respawn. Why do they get pulled back to the same spot when I open the door? Do they have no free will? Do I control their lives? What if the reason they left in the first place is so they could go save their baby from dying? Did I just completely ruin their family? Wait, they're ghosts. They're kind of already dead. Never mind. Oh boy. That part of the glitch was challenging, but let's go do pretty much the same thing again, but even more challenging. <laughs> so I make my way down this hallway, walking backwards, because once again, there's a ghost that can spawn and scare Luigi, but from my experience, if you walk backwards down the hallway, the ghost won't scare you. Then I go to the left, grab some bats with my vacuum, and pull them over to this spot right here. Here's the hard part. I let go of the right trigger, quickly tap left on the joystick, then briefly hold right on the C-stick, all in sequence. And if done right, once again, I'll have a bizarre angle. Afterwards, I go into standard, 
standard mode and then using only the C stick, I point the flashlight towards the screen. Once I have this, I go to the top right, hold up on the joystick, and up on the analog stick. Then I pause the game, switch over to standard mode, then I hold up right on the joystick, then while holding up right, I press A to hit continue on the menu, then I press X to open up my Game Boy Horror. If I do all this right, I'll fall through the floor into this spot in the basement. If I do it wrong, it might look like this, or I might fall into the center of this hallway, but what I'm looking for is to fall into the wall in this hallway. And this last part is the hardest part of all. This is really something I would not recommend you try, because it is a pain. You have to walk out of bounds and then walk up. The problem is if you walk too far to the left, you trigger a cutscene. If you walk too far to the right, then you get stuck. It is also extremely hard to see. The only way you can see is going first person on your Game Boy Horror. But if you do everything exactly right, you will end up inside King Boo's room, and then you can go and fight the final boss the exact same as a normal playthrough. Just walk right up to him, watch the cutscene, and kabam! You are fighting Bowser King Boo thing. And there we go, we've just completed Luigi's Mansion. And that's gonna be just about it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Oh boy, that was a complicated one. Does anyone else have no idea what just happened? Anyways, if you want to watch a non-glitch playthrough of Luigi's Mansion, you can click that annotation to go to my playthrough. Or if you'd rather see more glitches, you can hit that one to go to some more glitch fest. Now, I know you can't tell which one I'm pointing to, but I am definitely pointing at my screen right now. The, the pictures. Just look at the pictures. You're good. And of course, there'll be links down below for mobile viewers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.